What's going on, people? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Hope everyone is having a fabulous day. In today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about Amazon. And to be even more specific, I wanted to talk about Amazon FBA because there's a lot of people talking about it. A lot of people saying they're making money. A few people saying they're not making money. And I've been getting a lot of questions saying, Steve, do you sell Amazon FBA? What are your thoughts? So pretty much I'm going to talk a little bit about what my own personal thoughts are on Amazon FBA. So with that being said, let's dive into today's video. All right, so the topic is Amazon FBA. The first question I'm going to address is, you know, what do I think about it? What are my thoughts on Amazon FBA? And I'm going to use one word to describe it. And that one word, it starts with an A. Can you guess? Awesome. Amazon FBA is freaking awesome. And I'll tell you right now, you know, I'm more of an eBay guy. That's what I focus on. That's what I specialize in. I got a lot of knowledge in it. But I tell you right now, Amazon's got a lot of really good things going on. And uh, I'm going to talk about some of the reasons why I think it's awesome. I'm going to give you a few reasons why I'm definitely going to get more into it. And uh, give you a few reasons why, if you're not already selling on Amazon FBA, why you should be. Because there's a lot of potential there. And just to take a step back, I do sell on Amazon FBA. I don't really go at it too hard. You know, I've only been doing it for a few months seriously, but you know, I've been doing a few thousand dollars every month, not really trying and uh, only really touching on some of the smaller items. So let's get into it. All right. What's the, the main reason why I think Amazon FBA is freaking awesome? Well, the, the main reason is because you have the ability to scale up your business easily. I mean, think about it. If you want to scale up an eBay business, there's so many things that have to come into consideration but the main thing being is space and I'll tell you right now I've had to actually rent out a storage unit you know to hold on to all my eBay inventory and that costs money it, you know it takes time to drive over there and bring it back and you know you need all the the space for all the shipping supplies you need the space for you know a various amount of things so you know the ability to scale easily and you know you take yourself out of the equation when you're shipping Amazon FBA when you're sending in stuff FBA because pretty much what FBA stands for is fulfillment by Amazon. All you do is you go out there, you pick out the inventory that you want to sell, stuff that has you know potential to make profit. You box it all up and you send it out to the Amazon FBA warehouses. And pretty much when it sells, they ship it out. If there's any customer complaints, they handle it. If there's any returns or issues, they handle it. So that's really, you know, that's that's awesome. It saves you space, it saves you time, and uh those are two factors that are going to really play into anything that you do in business when it comes to scaling up or the ability to scale. Another reason why I think Amazon is awesome is because it's a huge market. There is a gigantic market. It seems like everybody is sh shopping on Amazon. I mean, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, talk to your family. Ask them where they're getting the couscous from. Ask them where they're buying their books from. Ask them where they're buying their movies from, even though most people probably watch on Netflix now. The point I'm trying to make is everybody's shopping on Amazon. And, you know, I'm not trying to make this video to, you know, crap on eBay. I love eBay, and that's what I do because I think there's a crap load of money to be made on eBay. And it's a little more difficult in terms of, you know, scaling and whatnot. But, you know, sometimes when the barrier or the entry, like the entry into a business is a little more difficult and it's harder to do things, you know, sometimes it leaves people out of the equation. And, you know, I don't have a problem with it. I love eBay and I make a lot of money from it. But, uh, huge market on Amazon and it's only growing every single year another reason why I like Amazon is because there's tons of inventory to sell I mean seriously there's books there's board games there's video games there's groceries that you could sell there's toys there's DVDs music electronics you can even go to the stores and buy all these items and sell them on Amazon FBA which is called retail arbitrage lots and lots of inventory to sell and the, the real beauty is you just pretty much scan it into the system, box it up, and ship it off. And, uh, you know, it's pretty nice. And the last reason why, actually, I'm going to give you two reasons why. The next reason why, you know, I think it's awesome is because it's less time-consuming than eBay, theoretically. I mean, I guess if you scale up the business to the point where you're shipping out 20, 30 boxes a day, you're going to still be putting in your 40, 50 hours a week. But, I mean... Like I was talking about earlier, when it sells, you don't have to ship it. When there's an issue with a seller or a buyer, you don't have to answer the question. When there's a return, you don't have to go through the whole process. So, I mean, it's less time consuming than eBay. So, that's definitely a pro. And lastly, and this is something that I really don't like with eBay, it's definitely a con and something uh, really beneficial that Amazon does with FBA. 
is you have the ability to travel. You can go on vacation. You can take yourself out of the equation and still make money, which is beautiful. And, uh, you know, this is why I sell on eBay. I sell on Amazon FBA. I sell on Craigslist. You know, I have different platforms that achieve different things. And every platform has its pros and its cons. But, uh, you know, I always feel like it's good to put your eggs in a few different baskets. And I'm definitely looking to get more into Amazon FBA. I love eBay, don't get me wrong. And I love Craigslist. I mean, they all have their you know their pros and cons but uh yeah I pretty much just want to make a video just saying why I think Amazon FBA is awesome why you should probably look into get into it getting into it or maybe just start watching some YouTube videos read some articles and you know just learning a little bit because it's possible to get into it it's it's a little difficult at first there's definitely a learning curve but uh you know if I could do it if I get my mom into doing it which she isn't really like computer savvy you know I've helped friends get into it you could definitely do it so uh Look into it. Appreciate you folks watching. If you guys have any opinions on Amazon or Amazon FBA, leave a comment below. Let me know what your experience is with it. If you're new, let me know what your difficulties are. Is it, you know, are you finding any problems or issues? And uh, yeah, just give me your two cents. But uh, just want to make a video just talking about why I liked it. Don't really want to go into the cons of it right now, but uh, I'll save that for another video. But all right, if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Keep on picking and making that money. Bye.